Sagittarius. A Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. A Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, what's up, Saggies? What's up, Saggy babies? What's popping? What's going on, life on a Sagittarian for a million months? What May? I was going to say March like a motherfucker. Huh? Huh? Are you guys reflecting over your past, trying to run from some shit in your present, and only focus on your future, dodging bullets out here? Hmm. Hmm. Um, we got a we got a grand a, a guest appearance from the ancestors. Okay, as long as the moth don't bother you, don't bother me. I usually get butterfly lands, moth lands, dragonfly lands. All the time. So it's normal for me. Hopefully it's normal for you. They came and hollered at Gemini. Now they want to holler at Sag. Let's roll. Okay? This will be for my summer Moon, of Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for Sagittarius. Y'all, this is general. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the, in the description. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay? Uh, so take what does and leave the rest. To the new subscribers, y'all, we don't fight them for us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We may cry sometimes or whatnot. But we love. We share. We grow. We cuss. We enlighten. Uh, to, this is your first time you on my channel. Hey, hey I'm Oka. Y'all I cuss. They cuss a little, they cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the cards say. So if cussing does not work for you at all, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Um, to my returning subscribers, family up. What's up, baby? No, y'all want to cut me right now. Look, what had happened was... Bitch had the pink eye, okay? It was allergenic, but still, I was in my feelings and a little insecure about it, so I stayed the hell away, okay? But here I is, <laughs> here I go, <laughs> here I go, here I am, all right? So, this will be for my mid-month, May. Um, I pray that you guys been holding it up. Y'all planted out here giving out blessings in my life. Blessings in our, blessings in our life for those of us who've done the work. It's harvest time, Sash, all right? So I thank you guys in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Let's rock out with our cock eye, all right? We ain't got no cock. The cookies. We showing ass, damn it. That's what we doing, all right? Let's get it. So we're going to start with the intuitive messages for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, for mid-month May. What I got for you guys was breaking free, renewals, overthinking, fate, forgiveness, telepathy, divine intervention, past life, soul contract, distractions, collaboration, resolution, fairness, control, evolved, apology, manipulation, coward moves, bondage. Financial windfalls, investment, assistance, new home, spiritual practice, volunteer, pay it forward, momentum, the great reward. Okay? Good shit, Sag. Come on, let's talk about it, all right? Uh, the overall energy around you guys' this reading is wow, wow, thing. <laughs> You make my heart sing. This is not a card of control. This is a card of unexpected, abundant, and beautiful when it gets there. Okay? So fear not, Sagittarius. Fear not. It's a season of rectification. It's a season of resolution, renewals, purity, as well as ancestral assistance. See? See, see, see? My little moth friend. See, see, see? <laughs> so that said, let's get it, all right? Sag, I'm here in family. Okay, I don't know if this has to do with like some type of family structure, some type of um family dynamic, but there is some type of changes coming towards your family. I'm also hearing investments. Some of you guys are um, investing in your own businesses. I am hearing uh, collaborations as well as contracts, so I definitely feel like some of you all may be getting pointed. I'm seeing someone pointing. So people may be pointing you in the right direction, okay, as far as reaching your goals as well as moving towards your business structure. Some of you guys, I don't know why I'm hearing research, so some of you guys could be researching either Google or um also here on YouTube during this time for uh, getting more information regarding education or ways around here and ways around. Some of you guys don't want to go no damn long ass university. Sag, like I ain't got time for that shit. I've been there and that I owe somebody already. I don't got time for that. But Spirit is saying stop putting all of the energy that you're putting into worrying. Put that same energy into being strategically prepared. Okay? 
So let's rock. Your first message for the month comes from Archangel Haniel, okay? This is the Archangel Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue, y'all. I know y'all tired. Of, I'm tired of seeing them fucking romance angels. Every time somebody be like, the romance angels card says, I'll be like, ah, change it. Don't want to hear that shit. I'm tired of it, okay? Because I don't know about y'all, but don't be selling me no damn wolf tickets for free. Who sells? Don't sell me no ticket for free. I don't want it. No, thank you, Sam. I am. You can keep those green eggs and ham. That's that bullshit, okay? I don't want it. So this is the Archangel Oracle message deck, okay? Okay, okay. Let's get it. <laughs> you guys got moon cycles. From Archangel Henry, it says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. That's why I'm hearing thoughts and thoughts and words. Okay, so watch your words during this time as well as your temper. I got a little fiery, okay? Sag, some of you guys may also, there may be some type of some type of decision that needs to be made or some type of conversation that needs to be had. There's a focus on the throat chakra as well as the solar plexus speaking, okay, movement forward as far as your speaking and movement acceleration, okay, or the actual I do. I'm going to do this shit, okay? There's a there's um either an underactive um you guys could be experiencing some type of underactive solar plexus during this time, which I do see actually transitioning as the month progresses, okay? So some of you guys, there's this need for you guys to pull back, pull away from the world and ground yourself. Be very self uh, selfish with your energy during this time. Yeah, I fucking said it. Because as you begin to reflect, how many damn opportunities that pass you by while you got your cape on saving somebody to fuck yo? Jupiter's in town. Saturn not playing that shit. And Pluto just came to remind you of shit that you had issues with in the past life. Okay? As the Empress, as Big Sister, Auntie Mocha, I'm going to have to go ahead and drop that good, drop some juice for y'all. So how you can't get nobody else to fuck right if you're not right. self preservation's first. Some of you guys are empaths. You need to really respect your energy. Speak up for yourself. Don't I don't give a damn if it's mama, auntie, Amy, cousin, uh, Sarah, your favorite cousin, uh, Katrina. I'm tired. I need to rest. Everybody been pulling and tugging at my damn energy. Speak up for yourself. Some of you guys may this also may be your actual menstrual cycle. Some of you guys may be having some type of change or transition happening with your menstrual cycle. Your menstrual cycle may be off. I'm hearing late. Some of you guys may assume that you're pregnant because your menstrual cycle cycle late. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Some of you guys also are going to have a surprise when it comes to fertility. Someone and I think I got this yesterday for y'all. Some of y'all, some of you all think that you are infertile because you have a life path around children as well as with some type of divine partnership moving forward. So some of y'all who are dealing, I'm thinking. Thank you, Spirit, Aries, Taurus, Libra. Uh, some of you guys are having to reconcile. Like there's a there's a child in the spirit realm that's waiting to come. Like this child is ready to be born or ready to come forth. Um, and if this child is connected, a very prophetic being, uh, this child is actually going to be kind of like that of like a, I think they call them like Messiah seeds or like this child is some is there's some type of ascended master type spirit with this child. For some of y'all, this child could already be here. Some of you guys could have experienced this last year around the same time. So this child could be having a first birthday um around this time, Sag, especially if this child is a is um is a Taurus or a Gemini. This child could be having um a first birthday coming. And there's some type of reconciliation that's going to bring some type of blessing, okay? But I'm hearing birthday, so the child could be having an upcoming birthday. But this 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 child is tied as well to your life path, especially if you and your twin flame are on some type of um have some type of like collaboration or past life, um or share some type of spiritual path to help others. This child is like. It came in this world to be some type of like karma to turn things around. I'm hearing um transmute. So the child could be a Gemini mutable sign. For some okay, the next yeah, for some of y'all, Spirit wants you to know that your angels are your divine angels are there to protect you protect you. Some of y'all need to ask for help. Some of you all may be seeing white birds, doves. Some of you guys also may be seeing white butterflies, moths. During this time, it's either your, uh, for some of you, it's your ancestor, someone who has passed over to the other side that wants to assist you, uh, moving forward in completing, being successful in reaching your, um, and read as, for one, accomplishing your soul contract and two, reaching your path forward. I heard Isis and Osiris, whatever that means to some of y'all, okay? This could be, 
a reincarnated energy. Some of you guys are definitely going to be receiving some type of esoteric information through dream form during this time. Okay, the next message I got comes from Archangel Zadkiel. Teaching and learning. Keep an, eye, keep an open mind and learn new ideas and then teach these to others. Okay, so again, there's that collaboration, that connection energy that I feel, those pointing of the fingers. Some of you guys, and this could also be this way around. Okay, so there may be some type of information that comes to you, um, kind of like not who you know, not, not what you know, but who you know, in order for you to move forward into some type of, uh, for some of y'all, this definitely have to do with your purpose. Okay. Some of you all may be actually learning and researching, have researching things regarding archangels, and some of y'all may actually have an angel encounter during this time. Someone is coming to bring you some type of enlightenment that is going to assist you as far as your direction. Like some of you guys have no issue with the actual, you know, making moves, the making moves, the making moves. It's knowing which way to go, the direction. Some of you all, there is a need for you to be receptive when it comes to people giving you, like, I don't feel like this is criticism. I feel like this is I feel like this is some type of expansion as far as, like, philosophical information, okay? It's, it's just how you choose to look at it. You can look at it in your feelings in your bag, or you can step outside of yourself and the connection. Because I'm feeling like this is someone who you're connecting to, connecting with, reconciling with, or either um, there is some type of information that you're going to learn or someone is going to be teaching you how to do something uh, that will assist you as far as your transition going forward. Okay, which brings me to the last message um, from the angel messages for you guys for the month is career transition. Come through, Sash. Get that money. Chase a, chase a bag. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not chasing the bag. Spirit actually just poured upon. We don't chase the bag. Become the bag, Sag. You are what you attract. Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. For some of you all, I keep hearing family and reconciliation. So this definitely has to do with some type of soul contract and some type of tie to some type of ancestral um, ancestral root or some type of family structure. I'm hearing dreams and telepathy. So some of y'all could have some type of like telepathic come telepathic connection with someone. And with the energy that I'm feeling, Sagittarius, some of you guys may be in this space of healing. There's a need for you to readjust your crown like, and not judge yourself during this time because for some of y'all, this could be you or another person in your energy. There's a need for you to, you're going to be getting some type of information that may make you look over something and look at yourself from not so, from not such a great point of view, okay, or judge yourself. There's a need for you not to judge yourself because in order for you to do better, you got to first know better. And so it's embracing aspects of yourself, the shadow as well as the light, to push you forward and turning your pain into your passion and aligning it with your purpose. And this is what this mid-month May is going to be out. And Spirit is saying, baby, you can have stacks on dig. Mm, mm, mm. We can, mm, 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 mm. Sag, you can have whatever you like. You just got to trust. Okay? So let's get it. Check on y'all love life. Um, by the way, when I was actually meditating on the energy and actually thanking my cards, y'all, um, what kept falling out for y'all asses was the wheel of fortune and the justice card. So let me know that it kept falling out, like two tree times, two two tree times. And what I found with that, I, it, it, I heard karmic. So some of y'all can actually be ending karmic cycles. Moving into more aligned and balanced cycles. Some of y'all could also be ending cycles or karmic ties to uh, possibly an Aquarian, Leo, Taurus, or a damn Libra. Or you may have this in your chart. This Scorpio full moon is going to be bringing balance in you guys' uh, family realm as far as your, your family and how you make your money and the connections around how you make your money. And so, Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Yes, and love. For mid month of May, so what can they expect to love? Some moon rising Venus as well as the cross watcher. Okay, so Sag. Yep. What the hell? What the what I tell y'all? 
you guys are definitely going to be ending karmic cycles and moving forward victoriously, okay? Some of you guys are going to be releasing things. This could be people, places, and things. Anything that I'm getting karmic or toxic cycles. Toxic cycles or toxic connections with toxic connections with uh, people and situations. Some of you guys may be researching um, cutting the etheric cord, okay? If you're dealing with the twin flame union, okay? But some of you guys will be victorious if you're moving. Some guys, yeah, some of you guys are victorious in moving forward towards your path and your purpose, okay? For some of you guys, you may be ending a cycle or ending some type of karmic cycle with some type of, I'm hearing family again, family dynamic. This could have to do with an Aquarian, um, a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is ultimately just cycles, okay? For some of you all, there is, yeah, some of you guys, either there's going to be some type of uh, communication that's going to be had, or some of you guys are, either this is you moving forward, Cutting shit off, you just not cutting it. If your ass is coming, you coming in talking to me crazy. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Sad y'all, that shit getting on my nerves. You need to cut it, okay? Sad's not with these shits. Some of you guys are um, some of you guys are moving towards um a situation from your past. Some of you, yeah, some of you guys are definitely ending the cycle, and this could be around um someone. Yeah, some of you guys are moving forward. This could be around someone who you have a some type of family dynamic with, okay? Or maybe this is the goal to actually be victorious, okay, in fulfillment. Some of you guys are cutting cut, cutting toxic cycles and toxic people out of your life to victoriously move forward. For some of you all, Sag, this could have to do with the argument, okay? That some of y'all are just done arguing with people. I'm I'm done. I'm done arguing with you. I'm done being connected with you when there is nothing stable here on the table, baby. And you're understanding that I bring everything to the table. Shit, I brought the motherfucking table. Here I am. I'm bringing the table and you out here chasing tablecloths. Eat your ass the fuck. I here chasing napkins. <laughs> I must have serious expect. Yeah, some of you guys could be in the cycle possibly with the younger air sign, okay? For some of you all, this is actually the toxic portion that you're moving away from is control. Moving away from manipulative people, people who try to control your path, people who try to um, hold on to your energy, but they can't let go of things and confrontations that once what the what the once was in the past, okay? For some of you all, some of you all are breaking free from a um, from some type of some type of family dynamic or some type of structure. Possibly having to do with the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys are done trying to control the situation. Yeah. No. Okay, thank you. If you're dealing with an earth sign, I feel like this person wants to... Some of y'all could also be reconciling possibly with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like that situation will be victorious if you are reconciling with either a water sign or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you guys are uh, ending cycles, um, some of y'all could be ending cycles with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I definitely feel like there's a failure in the communication. Either someone talks to somebody extremely reckless. I don't feel a lot of respect here, okay? This could also be just, just a, a toxic... I feel like around this, you guys had the expectation of a family, of growing with somebody, of building your legacy, of building an empire. Yet instead, you got a lying motherfucker who be trying to control shit, possibly having money damn issues, want to hold on to you, but don't want to give you the substance that you deserve in a relationship. Okay? For some of you all, yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all could have cut off a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Or set up strict boundaries with this person, or we'll be setting up strict boundaries with this person, um, and letting them know moving forward if we're going to continue, this shit is going to end, and for some of you all, this is going to cause an ending, which is only going to move you towards victorious, victorious outcome moving forward as far as fulfillment. For some of you, it's coming in the form of a, a reconciliation. Okay, this could even be you making an offer. Says you, or another person could have been watching somebody. Some of y'all got a. Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio that could be watching you. This could also be someone who you have uh, children with, okay? I feel like this person is wanting to hold on to you for some of y'all, and y'all wanting to end the cycle and cut it off completely, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with the Taurus as well. Or this could also be, yeah, some of y'all, you could be dealing with a Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarian or a Taurus, I'm hearing this person, if they were attached to another person, like if this person was married, okay? For some of you all, you've been manifesting this person, calling this person back into your damn life. And I definitely see a reconciliation occurring, especially if you have a twin flame union with this person, okay? For some of you all, 
Some of y'all want to cut a toxic connection that you have with a fire sign, every Leo Sagittarius. But in order, um, you want to cut off some type of negative communication or negative tie that you have to some type of situation that could involve fire, that could involve air, pretty much a little bit of everybody, but fire and air is very strong and could also involve water. Some of you guys want to be, or you could be committed. Mm. Some of y'all are cutting off a commitment. You no longer want to be committed because you want to move towards a twin flame union or you want to commit to someone new. Some of you guys want to be free. You don't want no damn commitment. You want to focus on this damn ace of pentacles instead of half-ass offers that's coming from motherfuckers coming like pages and you just really just being real with yourself with this ace of swords, I feel, and just letting everybody know up front, like, this is what I expect, this is what I want, and not giving no fucks about it, and you shouldn't really. Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant here for Sagittarius? Some of y'all are definitely reconciling with a tourist possibly after cutting off an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like someone could have been having a some you could have had a toxic connection with somebody where you were holding on to this person, this other person was holding on to you for financial reasons. I'm hearing investment. So someone could have felt as if they invested in a situation that wasn't going no damn way and they just refused to walk away. Okay, so yeah, clarifying the hierophant. Yeah, I got the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. I got the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. So some of y'all are already knowing that a com uh, that, that there's some type of communication occurring around a family situation, okay? That is either coming in or you're coming in to deliver this. Look, I don't want to cut the shit with this whole family shit. Because intuitively, I know I got somewhere to be with my damn twin, okay? For some of you all. And for some of you all, this could also have to do with um, financial ties. Some of y'all are cutting yourselves free from even even um, business collaborations with other people. Some of y'all don't trust your business partner. You're ending the cycle. And I'm hearing bad money management. So someone could have bad money management skills and you just like, I can't grow up. you spending every motherfucking thing. You don't got, ever got shit to bring to the table as far as expansion. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? For sad, yeah. For some of you guys, it's healing and moving forward. Some of you guys just have to do with healing a situation. Healing a situation, having a community, some type of communication happening to heal a situation, to end a toxic cycle and move forward, okay? This could have to do with the air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or either fire for some of you all. Aries Leo Sag. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Six of Wands? Why is the Ten of Cups? Yeah. Some of you guys want to be victorious. You want to reconcile with someone where you possibly, some of y'all are feeling left out of a situation. You're not feeling really fulfilled. You're feeling abandoned or neglected, okay? And for some of you all, <clears throat> I was getting ready to clarify the Three of Cups with the Page of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys could be watching another person. This could be an air sign or a water sign, or this could, this could be somebody watching you. I feel like somebody really don't know. Yeah. Either you or another person separated yourself away from someone's energy. You went into this place of solitude, which caused a time moment from someone else, okay? I feel like the time moment was like a double-edged sword. I feel like someone was spying to see if someone reconciled with someone, to see if someone is still single or they're reconciling with somebody. This can involve a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And some of you all, you're wanting to reconcile with somebody, but you really don't know how to come back from, the, like, how to come back from whatever this power moment was. You don't know how to come back from possibly after some type of deception or some type of betrayal. I definitely feel like some of y'all are, are planning to, uh, some of y'all got a Virgo plan to come back and shake your damn life up, which is going to cause a tile moment because I feel like it's going to cause you to make a decision or force you to uh, see something that you didn't want to see before, okay? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What's this Four of Pentacles? Not, yeah. Some of y'all have a Capricorn towards Virgo. This could be someone who you left out in the cold. Maybe you want to come back and um, balance things out with this person. Change the situation where maybe there was once control and manipulation just completely surrounding the situation. And some of you guys want to hold on to an earth sign that could have made you an offer as well. It could be making you an offer. Capricorn towards Virgo. Maybe this, this is the person that's coming back to reconcile 
the truth is, truth is, I miss you, baby. I knew you was coming back. I've been talking to you in my dreams. I've been, you've been in all of my damn dream space. I knew you was coming back, baby. And some of you guys are done trying to hold on to a damn half-ass offer that is moving extremely slow, possibly from a Capricorn towards Virgo. You focus on manifesting what it is that you want, baby. Look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to jump over all these motherfuckers. Fuck all that dumb shit. Be all these cuz. Fuck them feelings and shit. My wish is here. It's time to expand. Nine. Why is the nine of cups here? Okay. So some of y'all just have to do with you being the boss. Some of y'all just could also be the mother or father of your children. And some of y'all just could also be an Aries person. Okay. And which I see things going successful. Okay. The outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles after the damn Ace of Swords. Okay. Brings in the damn Sun card. Right? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Why is the Sun card here? The Hierophant. So some of you guys could want to start something new, okay? Or move towards an actual commitment with a new person. This could also be a Leo. For some of y'all, this could also be a Taurus. Hmm. Truth is, I'm tired of... To clarify the Ace of Swords, truth is, I'm tired of staying in this stagnant ass situation with you, possible Pisces, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel stuck. I'm going to release myself from feeling stuck because I know this Ace of Pentacles is out here with my damn Emperor, with my damn Hierophant. Some of y'all want it with your damn Leo or your Pisces or this damn Virgo out here. I have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah. For some of you guys, it's moving forward and offering your cup possibly to a cancer. For some of you all, this has to do with moving forward. Yin and yang energy, twin flame energy. Offering my cup to my twin, which I know is going to bring me blessings. A new start. And for some of you all, this is going to be occurring. Or you could expect for secrets to be occurring, especially if this is involving children or third-party situations. Around this full moon. And for some of you all, this could actually involve a pregnancy surrounding um, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I definitely feel like there being some type of harmony in a situation and some equal give and take. Okay? So you guys let me know how they resonate. This is what I got for my babies, for my saggy babies for mid-month May. I love you all. I will see you back in June live. Y'all see my baby? Baby stood up there like, I got you, baby. You so protected up here. It ain't even funny. <laughs> I love y'all. Peace and light. Many blessings, Sag. If you need that personal, below. See you later.